hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel so when will you get married is what i'm going to discuss today the timing of your marriage okay uh, but before that as always if you find my videos helpful to subscribe my channel it motivates me to keep making more such videos for you for consultations you can check out the description below okay so let's begin with today's video so how to analyze the timing of your marriage See, for timing of marriage, you have to analyze a lot of things. Like the first step is to see the promise or the denial of marriage. I don't say anything about the denial, neither in my videos nor in my consultations. But many people analyze this. So you have to analyze. First step is to uh, see if there is a promise or the denial of marriage. Early or late marriage, Lagna Chat, Moon Chat, Navmash, Nakshatras, Vimshotri Dasha. Then I also analyze the Gemini astrology, then transits and a lot of other factors. So what alien language am I speaking? Sounds complicated? Don't worry. I'm going to just give you the simple method in which you can analyze and see in your own chart the probable time period within which you can get married. Okay, But this will not work for every single one of you. Uh, there are different charts, different combinations and some people might have very late marriage combinations. Okay, But keeping in mind the majority have made this video. Okay, So what you need to do is First, straight away go to your Vimshotri uh, Dasha, okay? Straight away go to your Vimshotri Dasha and check the Dasha you'll be running after 21 years to 36 years, okay? Between 21 to 36 years. Most people get married during these years, right? So, check the Ma Dasha you'll be running. You could be running, Ma, uh, you could be running Mars Ma Dasha. You could be running Ra uh, and Rauma. You could be running a single Dasha. See, if you are running Jupiter's Ma Dasha, okay, uh, when you are 21, from 21 years, then you will be running a single Dasha. But if you are running two different Dashas, okay, like Mars and Rau, okay, therefore, uh, you know, after 30 years, you are running Rau Ma Dasha. Before 30 years, you are running Mars Ma Dasha. Note down that Dashas, okay. Check if your 7th house, 7th Lord, Venus, Jupiter is afflicted. Okay, not Mars. See, I don't consider Mars as husband because most likely as a life partner, we seek someone who is a responsible, wise, mature, understanding person. Okay, and not just uh, passionate, physically strong and attractive like Mars. So, analyze if there is any affliction, then check after 28 years of your age. Okay, which Dasha you'll be running. You'll also figure out your uh, under Dasha, okay, period. Likewise. So you have to analyze this. It may also happen that you are just like I said, uh, you are running just single dasha like Jupiter's ma dasha. Okay, then you will also get your, uh, most likely you will get married in this dasha. But uh, figure you will also figure out your antar dasha period like from 28 years which antar dasha period you are running. Okay, so this way you will get a probable time period when you can get married. Okay. Like for let's uh, let's say for example you are running Mars Mahadasha before 30 years and after 30 years you are going to run Rahu Mahadasha. Okay. So don't down both the Dasha. Now if you are not having any affliction then most likely you'll, uh, you'll be having early marriage. Okay. Then you may get married in Mars Mahadasha. But if you are having afflictions then uh, you'll get late marriage. Okay. Then you'll get married in Rahu Mahadasha. You also have to see the placement, conjunction, aspects, dignity of Mars and Rao, okay, the dashas you are running. Because marriage is supposed to be a happy occasion where we celebrate. So it has to happen when planets are well placed, okay. If Mars is afflicted, then things might not work out for you, okay. So we have to analyze that as well. But the thing is that most likely marriages happen in the dashas, in the Mars dashas of Rahu, Venus, Jupiter, Mercury or Mars, because all of them are important for marriage. Okay, Venus is the main kark of marriage. Jupiter is also the kark of husband. As well as Jupiter is considered as a blessing. And Jupiter is also the most benign planet. Okay. Rahu brings marital bliss in one's life. Mars is passion. Some consider it as husband as well. But Mars also because Mars is said to be mangal. Okay. Something good. Something good celebration. Something good thing. Like we, we say in Hindi. Sab mangal ho. Okay. Everything please be good. Okay, so even in Mars, that's how you could get married. Okay, and then Moon. Moon is also important because it represents our emotions. So, you could get married in all these Dashas. Okay. Now, after analyzing the Mars Dasha, we move to Antar Dasha. Okay. Now, for Antar Dasha, like see, you have analyzed this. Okay. 
that you uh, you are running mars madasha and rahu madasha okay uh, after 30 you'll be running rahu madasha or let's say after 28 uh, you are running uh, uh, Rahu Madasha, but before that you are running Mars Madasha, okay? But you are having afflictions by Saturn, Mars, Ketu, Rahu, uh, plan malefic planets, okay? So most likely you will get married late, okay? So you will not get married in Mars Madasha, but you will get married in Rahu Madasha. Now you are currently uh, 28 or uh, 30 years of age, okay? So you will have to check, analyze that after 28 years, Till 36 years which Antar Dasha you'll be running in Rahu's Mahadasha period okay and then you'll have to check that Dasha planet relation with the Mahadasha like for example if you're running Mars Mahadasha okay Mars a Mahadasha and Saturn Antar Dasha then will it be the best time to get married no right because Saturn and Mars are great enemies and because this is a happy occasion so it's very unlikely that you get married in Das Dasha okay for, uh, for example rahu rahu and saturn okay they're quite opposite in nature okay uh, then rahu and ketu peri uh, period okay uh, then rahu and uh, you know uh, mars period rahu and moon period okay these periods are not considered to be good because rahu is not friendly with moon mars okay so you have to analyze this okay so you will get that antadasha period okay like uh, from 28 to 36 years uh, let's say you are running Rahu Saturn period, Rahu uh, Mercury period uh, arrives. Okay, Rahu and Mercury are very friendly to each other. Rahu Venus period, Rahu and Venus are considered to be the naturally calculus of marriage. So, most likely you could get married in Rahu Venus Dashas. Okay, so you will get the time period uh, within which when you can get probable uh, you can get married. Okay, and you have also have to confirm it in Navmash. All the uh, analysis that you have done till now okay and there you go you you got your timing of marriage okay the time period within which you can get married okay sounds easy right but i reiterate this will not resonate with everyone because shortcuts don't give long-term success so this is a just uh, simplified way to analyze in your chart and find the probable time of your marriage okay See, wedding is a one-time affair, okay? It doesn't matter if it is late, early. Uh, most uh, in Asian families and in Indian families, okay, there's this pressure of getting married, okay? Uh, you know, uh, there's this uh, tension of when will you get married and things like that. Parents are worried and everything this happens. But wedding is a one-time affair. What matters is your marriage. There's a difference between these two, okay? If you get the right partner, and if there is, you know, the right kind of marriage, okay, where you both are happy, where you both are, intentions are pure, okay, and where, where you both are uh, mutually, okay, there is mutual respect and understanding between the partners and the marriage, no matter if it is uh, late or early, it doesn't matter, okay, uh, because, uh, you know, life is short, uh, even if you marry early but what if uh, you just uh, you know uh, you didn't invest your time in uh, knowing each other okay and whether you were compatible with uh, with each other okay then most likely things might uh, you know go haywire and uh, uh, might end in separation things like that happen so important please give importance to marriage it doesn't matter if it is late or early wedding okay you could get married early or you could get mar married late Invest your time in finding the right person for you, okay? There is uh, this perfection is illusion, but right person means that the person is this mutual respect, understanding and um, space for each other, okay? And honesty, the intentions are pure and honest, okay? So, yeah, this was all about the timing of uh, marriage in a simplified manner in one chart how to analyze that i hope it resonated with you if you found it helpful do like comment share and subscribe i also do personal readings so if you're interested in consultations details are given in the description below that's all for today thank you for watching